what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel and we're going to be taking a look at the pack slash euro and copa america team packs that are here so portugal england turkey and brazil are 900 coins and of course the premium packs are 1500 come with big time griezmann and messi we're going to be doing a tier list sab and obviously with only one reserve for s as the ultimate pick or maybe two we'll see straight up we're going to start with argentina now i've done individual pack reviews and manager reviews and all of this with gameplay on my streams and throughout the channel with videos but scaloni is definitely a good manager 87 possession game with 86 quick counter plus one to the passing booster and this is what you get with him now it's 1500 coins obviously the biggest attraction is probably messi but there are a couple of nice players that we're going to highlight here as i said if you want to check out the individual uh, argentina pack you can do that in the channel as well i will link it but this is a really good pack, right? Messi is probably the pick of them. 95 acceleration, 99 balance, excellent uh, dribbling. He's down as a deep line forward with 91 finishing. But I think the pick of the pack for me is definitely the Paul. He's super, super quick on the ball, extremely aggressive while still having a lot of attributes for attacking. And Enzo Fernandez is a brilliant box to box as well. I really like this pack. We did actually get this pack. So I am going to pop it in straight early doors to S. No, we're actually going to put it into A. Now, this might be slightly controversial depending on where the rest of the packs go, right? But I definitely feel that Scaloni with the possession game, not a lot of people are using possession game. It's a required taste. And I don't think this Messi is that good compared to other versions, right? Now, next up, we have Portugal. This is going to be a 900 pack. We'll leave France with Griezmann in the premium pack for a minute. We are going to check out Portugal. Now, I also got this pack as well to test it out for you guys. Very pleasantly surprised with this pack. Most notably, the biggest problem with this pack is the long ball team playstyle proficiency and the booster of plus one to physical contact. It's kind of irrelevant, really. He does have a nice coaching affinity. I'll have a video on that coming soon. But this is what you get, right? So you're going to get Cristiano Ronaldo, Diaz, Pepe and the boys. And of course, Martinez there with the uh, trainers as well, right? So the trainers that we're talking about, the XP for actually ranking up the levels of your players... You only get that with the premium. You don't get it with these packs for the 900 packs. So it's not really, you know, that much of an addition. But Pepe has definitely been a player that I really wanted to test out. And I wasn't disappointed with this Portugal pack. Ronaldo is probably the biggest problem. We'll get to him in a second. Ruben Diaz, very good destroyer. Doesn't have the 85 plus pace or the 85 plus speed. Pepe is the same. They're around the 77 mark. But exceptional positioning from Pepe and brilliant aggression. This Ronaldo card is disappointing, lads. Honestly, it's disappointing. The balance is only okay. The tight possession is only okay. The rest of the pack is kind of middling. Um, it's kind of mid-tier. Which is why that if I am going to be rating this and rating it effectively, I probably have to put it below the Argentina pack into the B. Now that's not going to be a massive concern. We'll see where it ranks up with the Bs compared to the rest of them. Next up, we have Brazil. Now, this has not got the proper manager picture here. It's not the licensed manager. Um, they obviously have individual rights and whatever. I was very disappointed with this, uh, with this Brazilian pack, lads. There's a lot of players missing from this pack that might have translated to actually having a really good card. Now, he gives increasing experience points to forwards by 400% and a plus one booster to the kicking. Quick counter and long ball is his dual team playstyle proficiency. Yeah, this is probably one of the weakest uh, uh, packs, right? You've got a lot of players in here, lads, that genuinely, they're so similar to their GP versions of their cards, and they're missing a lot of players. Obviously, Neymar is missing. Um, you've got a couple of others like Marquinhos, obviously, in that that are going to be there with Rafinha and Bruno um, Gmeres and Gabriel uh, as well. But there's a lot of players missing from this that you might have wanted to put in there. Like maybe, I don't know, I don't know what other cards you can have there, but there is a couple of missing, uh, especially Neymar. So I definitely don't, I can't put him any higher than the Portuguese pack. He's going to go middle there for the time being, whether it'll be the worst rated. Obviously, it's going from right to left. So I would have, even though Portugal and Brazil are both Bs, I would have Brazil below Portugal on the B, if that makes sense, right? Next up, we've probably got the pack you guys are most looking forward to, to seeing rated. I have a very much like in-depth guide with Griezmann and co. This pack actually was, was probably the most popular one because Griezmann... Lads, honestly, Griezmann's probably the best player I've used. We'll get into that in a second. But the Champs, star players, gives a 200% increase, plus one speed booster, and only has one 
single team play side proficiency which is an 88 long ball counter which is an upgrade from ten hag and it is an it is putting him on par with pep's uh pep guardiola's possession 88 right griezmann obviously is the booster the big booster the shams there as well you're going to get them belly shuamene turam kamavinga missing a couple of players because they gave a couple of players for free such as mbappe to your hernandez and those guys trainer programs you're going to get to forty thousand. this is going to cost you 1500 coins as well is it worth that putting it on par with Messi and the Argentina pack? I definitely think this Deschamps pack as the French pack is really good. Griezmann, as I said here, probably the most fun card I've used in the last couple of weeks. Probably the best card they've added to V3.6. Definitely would feature very high in a tier list. Camavinga, brilliant, brilliant centre midfielder, but an exceptional left back as well. Can play sub tactics. A lot of very varied players in this pack. You also have Dembele there, of course, as well. But I do feel like that this French pack definitely is a step above from even the premium Argentina pack. I would not put it on A. We're going to stick it into S, to S as the ultimate pack. If you can afford the 1500 coins and it's between uh, Messi's Argentina pack and France's Griezmann's pack, I definitely would give the nod to Griezmann's pack. That's just my personal opinion from having used them. And the Griezmann versus Messi debate, Griezmann is the man. Now, Turkish pack. We didn't actually get this pack. I haven't bought this pack. And for good reason, lads, this is probably the most disappointing pack. Um, I know that Turkey have some really good, exciting young players coming through. Um, they've got a plus one stamina booster. They've only got a one team playstyle proficiency, which is 88 out wide. Now, this is a bit of a concern. Nobody plays out wide, man. We played about five, 600 games without wide in eFootball 22, 23, and in eFootball 24. But nobody plays out wide, man. Nobody plays because you can't really cross in. You can't really spread it out too much unless you're playing possession. And there's, it's a weak enough pack, even though they're not missing that many. Guler is probably the big one here. Um, I've actually liked Turkey when I've watched them play. They're, they're kind of exciting enough to watch. They've got a lot of new youngsters coming through. Obviously, the two 20-year-olds are a Guler and the other guy that's uh, that are very young. Very nice team for the future, I think. Um, but yeah, this is probably the weakest of the packs, I would say, completely. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, you can train them up and have them pretty decent. But in this, you know, vacuum of like compartmentalizing these tier lists, I cannot put them above Brazil or Portugal in the Bs. You could put Brazil a switch with Portugal, depending on how much you rate Portugal's, uh, you know, manager and stuff. But yeah. So last but not least, we do have England. Will they get S tier or A tier? Let's find out. So this is going to be headlined by Foden, who's amazing in this game. And this is an amazing Foden card. And Bellingham, who's down as a whole player, with Gareth Southgate. Now, I would potentially say that Gareth Southgate is probably the best manager they've introduced. He's got plus one to acceleration. He gives you a 400% increase for midfielders. And he's got a dual team play style proficiency. 87 long ball counter, which is the most OP meta broken uh, setup in the game. And quick counter is going to be 86. So you can sub-tactic and switch in between them. As I said, it's going to include all of what you see here. Foden, Stones, Trent, Rice, Bellingham. That's five players straight off the rip that are playing absolutely amazing in this game. Maybe not in real life. I mean, I know England are struggling in the Euros at the moment. I watched that match last night um, against Slovenia. But these cards are really, really good. Now, Harry Maguire is in this pack. They are missing a couple of players, like Luke Shaw is missing. Their, uh, Harry Kane is missing. There's a couple of notable exceptions. But Bellingham's card is phenomenal. If you've missed out on these Bellingham cards before or any of his cards before, you also have probably my pick of the pack, Phil Foden. Absolutely insane in the game. Insane in real life as well. Been absolutely brilliant this season for City. Acceleration, balance, everything you could possibly want. Declan Rice, down as a box-to-box, -box, not a destroyer or an anchorman. Defensive box-to-box, -box, which are quite rare, but he's got 80 plus speed, which is nice. And John Stones, lads, definitely been the surprise package of this manager and English pack. So that is it, lads. Where do we fit England in? Are they S tier? Are they A tier? I'm actually going to put them into S tier, boys. I think it's a bit of a mix-up between England and and France as the best two packs. I'm probably going to give it the edge that for the majority of people, if they're looking to spend 900 or 1500 coins, that is going to be a personal choice. They're both S tier. I'm going to take a bit of a cop out here and say that most people will probably buy the England pack because it's a little cheaper, but Griezmann is definitely the best player that they've released with V3.6. Agree or disagree, lads? Let me know in the comments below and check out all the individual manager and player packs. All of these packs are covered in individual videos in a lot of depth with every player trained up with their guides, the skills to add, all of that. Check it out. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in a bit.